I don't want to call it general law, where there's a rule that it takes 10,000 hours to develop mastery in something. And as a high growth entrepreneurship professor, I want to see somebody who's a master. Now, when I was at the design school, these people have to put together very detailed portfolios to get into the school. It's one of the toughest places to get into in Alto. And if you looked at the portfolios, and I saw them when I first entered there as an acting professor, I was amazed at the depth, the amount of material and effort and time. These are people who are well along their 10,000 hour mastery level. You wouldn't have gone through that effort otherwise. And we need to, in, in our program, get people up to that 10,000 hour speed. If so if it's, you know, you're interested in climate change, tell me what path you've taken along your 10,000 hour mastery rule to give you the insights and depth and the experience and the perspective to kind of knit together and find the patterns that, are gonna, that you're gonna pivot towards to say start your business to tackle that problem. And if it's not deep, nobody serious will really back you. Your friends and family will because they'll love you. But outside external investors find it very difficult to back somebody who hasn't got that kind of depth and tells me something about a space that I didn't know before, you, before I had met you. And that's a solvable problem, but it's a, it's a very real one. You know, our experience doesn't give you 10,000 hours of learn space. So I think probably many of our people therefore are going to go out to the world, practice on other people's problems, and with what I call a slow hunch, keep in mind a business that they may want to pursue at the right time, especially when if you've got high ambition in mind. Uh, that seems to be a career path that many of my students are now going to be considering taking. And guess what? These type of skills are so important to big organizations. So important. That's why I'm here. <laughs> they wouldn't have me any other way. This is what they want me to do.